is shaping up to be a promising year for cars and the 2024 D-Max is something that we're eagerly waiting for. Isuzu knows this, but I couldn't be in two places at once. I was visiting the motherland, wait, I didn't write that. So we sent Earl to take care of it for me. Luckily enough, he knows how to use a camera to give you guys a good first impression. I mean, how hard can it be? All you gotta do is push a button. I know, I've done it, it's super easy. Look at our video. Anyway, like and subscribe for more me and Kaku behind the camera if that's something put it up wow your age is showing you can't keep it up <laughs> oh my god now it's all familiar underneath and this will be a facelift for Isuzu coming into the rest of 2024 so the engine options will still be the same with up to 187 horses and 450 newton meters of torque from a 3 liter turbo diesel engine and a 6 speed automatic transmission a 4x4 system lock and differential and what have you but there are updates on the exterior and interior the exterior is new, Isuzu put a new grill and bumper combo on this one with some updated lights. The grill is less toothy and it definitely has a cleaner look to it along with new lights and the lower section of the bumper. New wheels, still the same size as before, 255-65 series tires on 17s. Now other than that, the side of it looks similar to before, so no major changes yet. The rear, however, does have a bit of a change in the form of the lights. Same layout, but different wraparound shape. However, the biggest or more meaningful changes happen inside. It doesn't have to do with space. Ignore the right-hand drive, but getting into your driving position will be easy still with a tilt and telescopic steering wheel plus the power adjustable driver's seat. Other goodies in the front include a new digital display which is tons better than the pre-facelifted kit. Other than that, Isuzu also says that there is an update to the ADAS system. Frankly, thank goodness because the two cameras give the car more depth perception and a more accurate reading of any dangers that may lie ahead. Finally, Isuzu also updated the infotainment system with a new interface. Plus, it now has USB-C ports instead of the Type A ones in the outgoing model. Also new on the dashboard are new trim pieces and new dashboard colors and a new pattern for the seat upholstery. Man, that is a lot. The pattern continues onto the rear with brown and black still. Also like the front, the rear charging port is updated for 2024 to Type C. We still get the overhead speakers. We still get the generous amounts of legroom and headroom, a center armrest with two ball holders and air vents down the center. Driving around Isuzu's off-road course was a bit of a treat. Getting the car over some pretty gnarly obstacles was quite exciting. From axle twist tests to roughy conditions, all the way up to a 45 degree hill climb and on off-camber section that lifted the car on its side by 40 degrees. There were also water crossings and even a wet hill climb which tested the car's weighting depth and its traction control system. These obstacles were a breeze for the Isuzu, but a bigger question is, how would it fare out on the road? How would it fare out on our road? Well, we'll just have to wait for that. And Isuzu Philippines is pretty quiet about the prices first, but we reckon it'll be around the same ballpark as the outgoing model. Do stay tuned for that when the model actually launches, but this has been our first impression of the new 2024 Isuzu D-Max. We hope to get it soon, we hope to drive it soon, and we hope to see you soon when that video eventually gets published. For now, do like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on that. Thanks everyone, stay safe, and we'll see you soon.